Today is my ninth injection, eight weeks. I'll leave my beginning weight here and then my today's weight here. Again, as you see, it was only another pound over the week. Again, the stress, like I said last week, a little bit of stress going on, and I didn't really hit the gym as much as I should have, and I think that's going to be my, my factor there. This week's symptoms, uh, dry mouth has went away. Maybe my body's getting used to it. Uh, again, I'm on the 5 uh, milligram or micro, yeah, milligram. Maybe I go to I go to my doctor in four weeks. So maybe he'll bump me to the 7.5 and maybe we'll, we'll restart it again. Uh, I did my injection probably about, I don't know, what, seven hours ago. And I still haven't had, gotten my dry mouth like I normally do. So maybe my body's getting used to it. I don't know. Uh, as far as bathroom habits go, constipation is not there whatsoever. It's actually opposite now. And I think that has something to do with some of my supplements I'm taking, which I'm going to go over a couple. I'm on some uh, Reddit feeds uh, and uh, some other forum boards with Manjaro, and there's some discussions that we had on there that I'm actually going to put on here. So uh, f especially for anyone that has any type of heart palpitations or they feel like they have AFib, you know, you feel like you're skipping a beat. There's a reason behind that. And you can even get with your doctor and find out that I'm, you know, not trying to pull your leg. I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm only giving my advice and the things that I've been through through my last 11 years of being disabled and in and out of the cardiologists and the ERs and everything else with my heart paps that I have. Uh, have I been seeing more of that with the Manjaro? Yes and no, which we're going to get here in just a sec. Uh, I'm uh, dry skin. I mean, my, my skin's dry. Uh, I normally have dry skin. I'm on thyroid medicine. I feel like, whether it's my liver or whatever, that my thyroid medicine just doesn't get put in. I can't wait. So two weeks I do my, today is October 10th. So on the 21st, 22nd, somewhere in there, I do my blood work. So I'm ready to see what the blood work is actually going to show now. I'm um, ready to see any numbers drop in, cholesterol or anything, you know, in, in that type of realm. See, see if this medicine is working at all. Uh, I've read some people say that they switched to Ozepic or, or you know, uh, Wagovi and seen better results. Ozepic would be good for me, especially since bad hearts run in my family. I'm always concerned about the heart situation because bad hearts run on both sides of my mom and my dad's side. So, um, my dad died of a heart attack. Uh, a lot of people on uh, all the male on his side, uh, I think they're no, every male on my dad's side has had a heart attack. And I think there's only one male on my mom's side and my mom's had a heart attack, but I think there's only one male on my mom's side that hasn't had one. Um, the women, as far as the women, just my mom has had a mild heart attack. So yes, so that that's there. And then when that extra weight started coming on, where at first I was feeling, man, I was feeling my clothes getting looser. Don't get me wrong. Some of my shirts are still loose, but I thought I would start seeing more and more. So uh, give me just a sec. I'm going to actually bring out uh, a, a thing of uh, vitamins and go over with these heart paps that a lot of people are talking on these form boards. And then I'm going to do actually a measurement real quick. I didn't do my measurement today. I didn't do that this morning. Man, so let's see where I'm at. Uh, again, I haven't eaten nothing. I've had just a few waters today, you know, in seven hours. And that might be another drawback, not eating. I need to start forcing myself. The only thing is, is at nighttime, whenever I eat my dinner, we eat roughly around 5.15 in the evening. Uh, here, I can still have the, I still have the food in my stomach the next day. So it's like, it's like I just finished eating the night before I can take my vitamin, my, my multivitamin, everything else. And I don't get sick in the morning. Cause it's like, I still have all that food in there, but give me one sec. I am not a doctor. I am not saying or telling you to do anything. Do your research and talk to your doctor. That's all I can say. So number one supplement that I take is a probiotic. This isn't a sponsored video. I'm not going to leave no affiliate links down below. Uh, you can go on Amazon. If you want to take a picture of it, you can take a picture of it. Uh, a, a good probiotic. This one here is good. This one might be what's causing me to stay loose, uh, looser stools uh, instead of constipated, which I'm going to stop it for a couple of days, and then we're going to see. I'm going to play around with it. But 
a probiotic, especially with that, that food sitting in your stomach, we got to worry about our pancreas. We got to worry about our gallbladder. We got to worry about other things that are going on in the system and make sure that the Manjaro, Ozebic, Wagobi, whatever is not destroying our insides. Okay. They're, they're, we got conflicted things here and there. We know that it works, but we know that at what cost does it work? We got different things. Heart palpitations in AFib. One of the biggest, there, there is a difference between the two, but one of the biggest things is between the correlation between both of them is dehydration is number one. We stay so dehydrated, you got to make sure you're getting plenty of water. But what happens when all you do is drink water all day? You flush out all your electrolytes, okay? That don't mean go buy you a Gatorade, even if it's a sugar-free Gatorade. That don't mean go buy a Gatorade and drink a Gatorade. You need more than just what they're putting into uh, those nutrition sports drinks. So a good quality, which there again, Amazon has a few, but a good electrolyte is really good. So I do take an electrolyte. Also within your electrolytes, which is your uh, micronutrients, which is like potassium. Potassium is another one. This is just, this is just a pill form. I also have a powder form that's a different uh, type of uh, pot- uh, bleh, bleh, a different type of potassium. <laughs> Um, magnesium is another big one. This is a big one that we have to have right here. Magnesium is huge on heart palpitations. And then of course I take a good one a day multivitamin. So we're going to be eating less food. We're going to be less full. We're not going to be getting a lot of the nutrients in. You need to be making sure that you're getting a, a, you find you a good or something that's going to do you good right for a multivitamin excuse me had a hiccup electrolytes but if you you got to have your electrolytes if you have heart problems or say i've been to the er a bunch of times with, with, with chest pain okay and we found out over the years that it's actually my nerves in my neck are destroyed and so it pulls on my left side it's it's always my left i get matter of fact i got my trigger points this week i get these two inch injections from the cranial of my of my neck up here, all the way down to my spine every three months. So, and I just get a cortical steroid put in there, which can stop me from losing weight for about a week. And that could be why I'm not getting no symptoms uh, just yet of the Manjaro for today's shot, because I just had those shots two days ago. So, until we found that out, I was in the ER constantly because I had chest pains. And I mean, the scaredness comes in my head, especially with both sides of my family. Well... What do they do? They do your blood work. They do an EKG when you walk in. They give you, well, give you an aspirin, give you EKG, and then they wind up giving you a saline bag, the, the little water bag that they put the IV in, and they give it to you. What is in there? Sodium, potassium. Oh, excuse me. That's another one that's not up here, and I've already told you all before. That's the Celtic salt. You need to have a good sea salt, a good Celtic salt, a uh, unbleached salt. You need to be getting a good good salt. We must be taking one uh, table, uh, teaspoon or tablespoon a day. Uh, I forgot which one. I know I take about a tablespoon a day. So, anyways, and I don't have no water bloat. My ring still comes on and off. Uh, I'm doing real good on that. But in that sling bag at the hospital, it is your electrolytes in there because if you're dehydrated, just like if you're dehydrated and you get a muscle cramp in your arm or your leg, you'll get a muscle. Your heart is a muscle, and so it cramps. And that's what gives you that flutter feeling with inside your chest. Saying that, I woke up four nights ago, and my whole calf was like curled. I'm talking about I was trying to rub it back down. That muscle kind of curled up in my in my calf. So I know, and as I'm going to actually get with my doctor when, when I do, I'm just going to continue to do what I'm doing and make sure I'm getting plenty of electrolytes, plenty of fluids. But I might. And some of y'all might as well. I might need a prescription strength electrolyte. I need to know what electrolyte is the best. Uh, Spinach is is a good one for electrolytes for your potassium. Kale is a good one. Uh, Bananas, of course, but we got to watch the sugars. Granted, yes, it is good sugar. Go do your go do your research. I've done mine. Go do your research. Apples, oranges, all that that have them natural sugars in it can still be bad and still conflict if you're insulin resistant, which is why we're on this medicine. But again, I'm not no doctor. 
I just I go by my experience and the things that I've dealt with over the years. But no, again, you know, just a couple of pounds down. But uh, total so far, what are we at? Sorry, at two sixty seven, and I'm two thirty four. Just say 234, 235. So I mean, I'm I'm a nice chunk down so far, and I'm hoping that it's just not water. So again, I'm gonna really really push myself this week. Uh, I actually have an exercise bike and resistance bands here, but I have I have like two YouTube channels and, and multiple things here that I try to do to try to succeed at this YouTube stuff here and uh, get it all going. That way uh, I can help my wife out because like I said my wife works two jobs I'm disabled but I want to try to do my best here and do my diligence to do my best to uh, have a purpose of making money and doing for her so uh, if y'all do like reviews uh, I do had I'm gonna have a new review up of a new Fifine product which Fifine is this microphone I'm talking on right here it's the company if you're doing any type of talking head videos it's a capture card so Fifine is doing more than just microphones now. So I got a couple products, a couple things coming up. But no, this so far, this is my eight-week review of the Manjaro. I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch y'all next week.